time to do some freaking right here on the Freakers Ball. Live on RealLibertyMedia.com. It is Friday night. Not, uh, what? Not, not August. September 14, 2018. You got me, Grimner, here. Moose Girl will be here momentarily, as she do. Oh, i got to change my camera. almost forgot to change my camera. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, so it is Friday night, and um, good to have you here with us, and uh, welcome to everybody out there in the various places you may be tuning in from, uh, whether that be over there on Minds.com, on FreedomsNetwork.com, on RealLiberty.org. Uh, if you found us via Twitter, welcome to y'all, or any of the other places the audio stream may be out there and going right now. But you also, uh, and I suggest you do, head on over to RealLibertyMedia.com on channel one. There is the Freakers Ball show page. If you're on the audio stream, come on over. Jump on in. You can uh, watch the video there and uh, get into the chat and talk to all the great folks that are here with us in the Real Liberty Media chat room on irc.freedo.net. And uh, you'll be glad you did. Over here also you can, you know, make requests and, and just be part of the program. Because this is, this is the chat that we, we share things with and uh, talk to folk and all, all that great stuff that there are. And uh, let me say hi and howdy to all the folks that are here. We got the barman, barman always around, Mr. Cowboy Tech, and my sife, myself, my sife, myself and the Moose Girl, Miss Kate, of course, uh, the Phantom and Asmo and Bess Z, you out there, Bess? Oh, and Chloe, we got Chloe, we got we got two Chloes, we got a circle, and a Colfax and a Cyborg Noodle, and a couple of Don C's as well. Uh, we got Dakota and Frumpy and Graham Z and Gromit and uh, Java Doctor and JJJJs, uh, Wana Taco and a couple of Kozus, couple of Kozus, the Meester Meister Brow, the Woodman of Woodmen's, and several Poxes there in a row, Poxes in the box and on the phone and on the side, and the Pone Sauce and the Rain and the Fluke Pot, and Mr. Rob Works and Suck Puppet. The skittle, the skittle, yes, a rainbow of whatever. And we got Trust No One and Vinny and Yawa, Yawa, Yay, Yay, Yawa. Anyway, that's all the names that are in the chat here right now. 37 of them, if you didn't, if you lost count as I was going through them there. But uh, those are all the names that are in here. There could be people listening in other places that we're not aware of. <laughs> So, howdy to the NSA, and uh, howdy to the, uh, <laughs> uh, who else listens out there? Uh, whoever, Googles and Microsofts and uh, all those people that hate people that talk freely and honestly and openly. Yeah, 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 all those people that hate us. And uh, Moose Girl must be having trouble getting her Skype going because... She said she had to start her Skype, and then she disappeared. So I uh, don't know what's going on there with her. Um, oh, there she is. There she is now. I am here now. She are here now. Yeah, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like a little stir or stuttering right now because there's a football game going on. It's tied 51 and 51. And, Go on, O.T. And what is that game for? It's Eau Claire Memorial versus Chippewa Falls. What is that like? But it's a huge rivalry. And high, high school or what? Think what about, well, high school, yeah. But that's insane. Okay. I'm so proud of Chippewa right now because they've held in there. They kept those fuckers at bay. Dude. And they come back and tie it up. 51. They were down like 37 to 51 at one point. Okay. And they come back and they fucking tie it, tie it up. That's awesome. Dude. Yeah. That's incredible. And the Brewers are winning. They might win the division. It's like hell yeah. And they're playing right now. They're winning seven to three. The Brewers against uh, Pittsburgh, which is really good. Wait, wait. Now that's a uh, baseball. That's, that's baseball. All right. So I got football, high school football, and baseball. Pro baseball. Game. Okay. And yeah, I know it doesn't mean shit. Well, hey, I as know. long as as long as you enjoy it, that's all that matters. But you know, I I give I I like to I like high school sports just because 
you know, their kids, right? Right, right, right. And, you know, I like to, you know, it's cool. It's cool that Chippewas give a memorial a hard time. I don't like memorial. Okay. They were like my son's biggest rival, so, you know. Yeah, all right, all right. that's cool. The I, other I know. school. Well, yeah, whatever. Like I said, as long as, as long as you enjoy it, then. I do, you know, and, you know, wife is too fucking short. To be all fucking serious and all, like, down and fucking, oh, the world sucks, you know. I mean, you got to live life still, no matter how fucking bad the world is. I agree. You know, you, you only have one life to live. Life's too fucking short. Well, I believe in reincarnation, but this is my only life <laughs> in this person. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know... Right. When people no. say you only have one life to live, I disagree with that. I disagree I with it, too. True. Well, actually, yeah, I, I, I disagree with it, and I agree with it, because uh, you, you only um, you have one life, but it never ends. So, you may have a different body next time around. Right, exactly. But And you consider that a life, but your life is your actual you. Which never right. ends, so you're 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 always gonna be. Um, it's like evolution, kind of, right? But they call it reincarnation. Oh, you can call it whatever you want. It's just you. Right. It's just the same you that you've been since since the beginning of whenever you since came the around. The beginning, right? You you may See, have. See, a lot had... of people don't even go there. They don't even go that deep. Like they just. To me, they're shallow. It's a shallow person that doesn't think about these things. Like, is existentialism. If you don't think about that, then you're not using... Well, we know that most humans don't only use, like, 15% of their fucking brain. If they're so lucky. If you're, if you're, yeah, if you're <laughs> a person that's just all mediocre and mundane, <laughs> then you're going to be the one of them people that is only using 15% of your brain. Like, when I learned that, and I don't know how old I was when I learned that fact, but I'm like, fuck that. Yeah, I, I, th I, I think it's less than that for the average person. Fuck you. I'm going to be a fucking 30 percenter. Or a 40 percenter. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? I mean, if you don't question, I guess it comes down to wanting to learn and wanting to question, and wanting to know, like a need, a desire to learn. Yeah. I've always had that. Like, you know, I wasn't the greatest student, but... They only teach you so much in school. There's but, like they teach you like twenty to fifteen percent of the shit you need to know in school. You know, the rest of the shit you gotta learn being in the fucking world. But yeah, but not being a great student is no no diss on you. That's a good thing. Well, hell no. Because that just means right. you're you're not accepting the programming. Right, right, exactly. I was like, no, you know, whatever the side is, it's a creative person. Yeah. I'm, that's just I'm a right brain. Is that a right brain? The left. I get it mixed up with. Which one? The mathematical thing is the left brain. The artsy fartsy creative thing that's the right brain. That's what I thought. Right. Or do I have them mixed up? I don't know. Uh, yeah, Woody. If your Wi-Fi is not up to it tonight, then then just use the radio. <laughs> yeah, just use the audio stream. You'll still hear the tune. You just won't see the video. Yeah. But. I mean, no, I've always been that kind of person, and it's like, fuck you, I'm not just using 15% of my brain. I'm going to use more of it than that. Thank you very much. Sure. You know, why waste all that? Why waste all that capacity, you know? Well, you got to learn how to access the rest of that, that well, stuff. See, I don't like closed minded people. What it comes down to is the people that are stuck just using the 15%, they're fucking shallow and closed-minded. That's how I would define them. But, you know, how could you not be if you're not trying to broaden your horizons and broaden your experience and just broaden your knowledge all the time, you know? Right. I, I, I just, I don't understand that. Like, and then, like, I wore a hat, one of my festival hats to the state fair, like, three weeks ago. And my friend's like, I love that you're wearing that hat. I'm like, the state fair is a perfect place to wear a fucking hat. I'm like, I'm a fucking hat person. And I'm going to wear a fucking hat if I fucking want to, you know? Right. 
So then I end up fucking buying a Mexican leather hat at the Mexican booth in the International Bazaar part, you know? The guy that sold it to me was really fucking cool. Mexican dude, older dude. He fucking, I'm like, yes, these people deserve my 30 fucking dollars for their real leather Mexican hat. Sure. But I can't find this real leather Mexican hat at fucking Walmart. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'd rather give these people my money than fucking Walmart. Well, Walmart doesn't even have what I want to begin with. A real leather Mexican hat, right? Right. A real cool-looking Mexican leather hat. Exactly. So I'm like, fuck yeah, you know? That was the only, like, thing I bought besides food and drink. Like, the only, like, souvenir or item, you know what I mean, that I bought was the $30 Mexican leather hat. Yeah. But it's a really cool fucking hat. But I found out that I'm, it's not a good hat for dancing at festivals. Well, yeah, I had yeah to, you know, if you want to keep it, then probably you're right. <laughs> right. Well, then I had to go to the cloth, my cloth hat because the, the, the leather was just way too fucking hot on my hat. <laughs> you know? Yeah, maybe you want to get a, uh, uh, did you ever, because you, you, you lost your hemp hat, right? I, but I have another one, but it, it got fun. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe you just want to get another one of those. Right. Hemp lasts forever, though, dude. Yeah, no, hemp I had, Yes, I had the most awesome purple hemp hat, and I lost it. I was so fucking bummed when I lost that hat. I was like, I know it's just a hat, but you know what? That thing was fucking awesome, you know? Sure. But it happens. Yeah. You just move on, you know? Yeah, you had that hat for a long time. I did. You have to move on and just get over it. There's a picture of you in that hat right there on the thing. Yep. That's my one. Of, that was my one of my favorite hats, right there. That was yeah. a hemp, purple hemp hat. hat. It was awesome. <laughs> I don't even can't it's remember. Purple, anymore, it's purple. It's hemp. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> well, it was hemp dyed purple. You know. Yeah. It was hemp hat dyed purple. Which I don't see many of them around anymore. It's really weird because they used to be all the rage, and now when you go to these stores, they only have a few of them. It's like, what happened? You know. It's like, what fucking happened? So I'm hoping that some of these hemp farmers in Wisconsin will start fucking making textiles out of this shit. Like hats and pants and dresses and shirts and whatever, you know? Yeah. Hemp clothes last forever, dude. You have to set them on fire for them to be destroyed. That's very and, weird, Rose. What? Oh, he well, Rome posted a picture of how the site looks to him, and it's it's all messed up. Yeah, I noticed it too. It looks a little bit different. I'm on Waterfox, oh. so it looks kind of weird. Oh, yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. I, don't, I don't know either. It's, uh... I mean, it still works and everything. It just looks different to me. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, anyway, if you're having trouble with the site, then uh, I don't know what to tell you. I can't do anything. I'm in the middle of a show. <laughs> right. It's oh, fine. We can't do anything uh, while they, we're are broadcasting. They, are they, are they <laughs> same, same we'll here. get it. Work on it later. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that's just, it's, uh, uh, that's, that's no good, though, if that's, no, I just brought it up and it looks normal. What browser are you using? Uh, Waterfox on my Linux machine. Okay, I'm using Waterfox too. But you're using Linux, so it might make, I don't know if that makes a difference, probably, but... Tables are walking. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing the problem. I'll try it over here on, on, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the Windows machine. Let's see how it looks here. So I had Matt take the air conditioners out, right? Yeah. It's going to be hot as hell this weekend. Hot and humid. Like, that's a good plan in there. Oh, nope, it's all normal. We're at 90% humidity here right now. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I traded a pipe for some mushrooms at a festival. That was a pretty good deal. It's like, for some reason, instead of just bringing one piece, I brought two, and one was in the car. And it's a really nice glass, colorful one. Like, bright, like, beautiful, beautiful pipe. So, again... Needed some mushrooms, didn't have no money. The girl's like, how, do you have anything for trade? I'm like, yeah. 
I'm like, I got a pot pipe you can, I can trade. Right. You know, it's worth right. about 20 bucks. She's like, perfect. I'm like, cool. Excellent. It worked. Worked out like a charm. Worked like a charm. Barter and trade is the way to fucking go, dude. <laughs> it and is. And then, like, yep. Yeah. Okay. It is. All right. Well, I don't know cool. what to do about these guys that are not seeing the site right, because I just brought it up on, on two different computers, and it looks right on both sides. Hmm. So, uh, he did change, make changes to it. I mean, not today. No, not today, but you did. Yeah. You no, know, a while ago or whatever. But um, so yeah, I have this Halloween stuff because my kids are too old now. Like, we don't do. I don't do Halloween. Yeah, right? what's the point? It used to be when they were younger, we did Halloween. So I have all this Halloween crap, and yeah. so I'm. So I sold two items. I made twenty bucks today off my, or this week off my Halloween trip. Off of three items. Twenty bucks. That's not bad, right? That's cool. Yeah, that's good. I mean, you know, I mean, it's just junk. Than, it was huh? just gonna sit there in a box rotting away. Might as well get it. Either that, or just take it to the thrift store and get nothing for it. Right. You know? Yeah. It's like fuck. I'm gonna try to sell it first before I just bring it. If it's something of value and something I think is worth, worth, you know, worth something. I'm going to try to sell it before I take it to the fucking sure. thrift store. Absolutely. You know, fuck, might as well try to get some money back. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. Oh. You know? Yeah. It's all local people in Eau Claire, so I just met them at a gas station or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like, fuck yeah, I don't need this shit no more, you know? <laughs> right, right. Like, some of the sentimental stuff I'll keep, but it, if it's something that doesn't mean anything to me, I'm like, I don't need this. You know? Exactly. All right, let's, let's kick off some tunes here. Okay. And uh, we got plenty of interesting stuff to talk about tonight. Oh, you know it, brother. Oh, I do know it, sister. A lot of shit going on. Major <laughs> shit going on, for sure. All right, well. Yeah, big time shit going on. Let there be rock. Yes, please. Oh, yeah, that's some nice stuff there. I mean, as Kate requested that one, it's uh, Going Down from Crossroads 2010. Joe Bonamoff with Mr. Pino Dinelli, uh, Robert Randolph, and uh, the family band. Excellent, excellent stuff there. Uh, before that, the Messer Chups, a little bit of German surf rock with Cemetery Beach. And we kicked it off with ACDC and Let There Be Rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there we have there it. Were, yep, drums. Let, let there be, be drums. Yeah, there let drums. there be all the, uh, let there be everything that needs to be had. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you. That's, 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 I love that song, that video. That is an awesome video. Oh, yeah. No, no question on it's that. old school one, and it's pretty good quality. I mean, for being from the it was, it's good quality video. Sure, sure. Wait, I didn't mute. Shit. What? Crap. I went what? to the regular player and forgot to mute. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, yep, Anamina Muscaria or Fly Garrick, they're called. And for anybody that missed it during that set that was having trouble with the RLM site, it's good to go now. <laughs> good. Yeah. Just, uh, just letting you know. Fly Garrick is another term for the, the mushrooms that the reindeer eat that makes them seem like they're flying. Well, they may, maybe they and actually are. Eat them, they also seem like they're flying, or feel like they are. So apparently. <laughs> apparently. I know, I have felt that way on mushrooms before. Like, I've been tripping hard on mushrooms one time. I'm like, my friend's like, how are you doing right now? I'm like, I'm flying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really felt like I was fucking flying. Even though I wasn't, I was standing on the ground. I felt like oh. I was fucking flying. <laughs> right. And it was a good feeling. It was not a bad feeling. It was a very good feeling. It, it was just like right on. You know what I mean? It oh, was sure, great. Sure, sure. And I seriously think that I would have had more issues with like depression and stuff like that 
if I haven't been doing, like, tripping on mushrooms occasionally in my life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because he did a story, and it has been proven that they do cure depression. Magic mushrooms cure depression. Right. They've done studies. You know, Hans, you can fucking dispute me all you fucking want, but... But uh, you're wrong, because you're... Been fucking, there have been studies, actual scientific studies done to prove this, okay? I didn't need no study to prove it, but it's good to know that, you know, they're good for you in more ways than one. Another right. way I, that I felt they were good for me is they open up a portal in your mind so you're able to, like, ingest information that you not have not learned before. Like, I seriously felt like I was being spoken to from the universe or something or someone in the universe telling me things that I did not know before. Right. You know what I mean? And right. it's really cool because they know that you're at a point that you're able to, to take the information. To, to get it, you know what I mean? And not dispute it or not fucking laugh at it or whatever, you know what I mean? You're at such a point where your mind is so open that you're able to fucking learn and absorb the knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Right, exactly. And to me, I, there was aliens. It wasn't like, okay, now I use the term alien really loosely because that's the term that everyone gives like ET, extraterrestrial, that's another term, you know what I mean? But I was being spoken to by ETs or aliens. It wasn't a, it wasn't human. It was not a human being speaking to me. There have been times where I've been on mushrooms where it is a human speaking to me. But there's also times where I know it is not. I'm the, sure. The one time I remember for sure, I felt like it was really cool. It was just like really cool. Like, and I wasn't afraid. And they know that I'm the type of person that wouldn't be afraid of, all, of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'm accepting of it. Like, I believe they exist. I know that. You know? Right, right. And so I don't need to be one of these people that's like, Oh my fucking God! <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, no. About, I, I, that... I love dogs. Dogs are not human. I love cats. Cats. I love all animals. I love birds. Birds are not human. No, so no, they're not. I fucking love these creatures. Why can't I love some other creature from some other universe? You know what I mean? What What, what is the difference there? there there's no I get difference. It because, you know, these creatures that I love, like dogs and cats, they are creatures of Earth, right? I get that. Sure. But at the same time, I also know that there's other creatures and other beings out there that are not human. And so I would be more, I'm the kind of person that would be more accepting of them, I think, than the mainstream people. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I mean, I just feel like I'm, because of, and one of the reasons is because of that, that experience I had that one time to put on shrooms where I was being spoken to, being communicated, you know what I mean? Yeah, oh yeah. And it wasn't verbal, it wasn't like I was speaking, maybe I was speaking out loud, but they were not, but I was hearing, you know what I mean? I yeah. was getting the information, you know what I'm saying? I, I got to, I understand. And I knew now, exactly um, what they were uh, speaking. Uh, now that kind of, it kind of leads me right on into the the, the first bit I got here. Um, right. You know, there's a lot of big stories this week. Of course, we had the oh god, there's so many. Uh, yeah, we, we, had, we have uh, the hurricane. We got the uh, and the fire, the explosions in Boston. Explosions in Boston and uh, se That's several other crap. things. But there's only one yep. story. There's only one thing keeping my mind on it, keeping track, keeping hold of me. Okay. Now, there's a uh, solar observatory down in southern part oh, of New, yeah. New Mexico. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about here. I yeah, it, one it's, too. it's called Sun, Sunspot New Mexico. It's the uh, Sunspot Solar Observatory. And uh, on the 9th, which was uh, last Sunday, the uh, okay. F FBI came flying in and yep. black, shut it down. And black hop helicopters shut it down, kicked everybody what out, the closed fuck? the post office. Uh, made, made everybody in the town vacate. And there was a fucking close encounter, I bet. They, well, see, they're not, they're not telling nobody why. But so, right, but I, I, that's what my opinion. So, there was a close encounter that they don't want people to know about. So like, oh, fuck, no, we can't have the normal public seeing this shit. Right. Oh, we got to so, shut this shit down. So 
Uh, here's this story on, uh, it's on Yahoo, but I think it's from, like, uh, uh, the Independent over in the UK. Um, it says, Space Observatory at Center of Alien Conspiracy asks for patience after evacuation by the FBI. And, and by the way, if you're unfamiliar with that part of New Mexico, um, it's up on the, on the hill, uh, right down there by uh, Cloudcroft. Um, and overlooking Alamogordo, but it's about a hundred miles due east of Roswell. <laughs> Just for <a> reference, <laughs> not that this has anything to do with Roswell, although that observatory was opened uh, shortly after the Roswell incident. That was uh, merely a, a weather balloon, right? <laughs> So, anyway, it says the Space Observatory at the center of the swirling alien conspiracy series has asked for patience as it continues to be locked down. It's still locked down. There's still no information. The Sunspot Solar Observatory in Sunspot, New Mexico, caught the attention of the world when it was shut down by FBI agents who reportedly swooped on the facility after arriving in elite Black Hawk helicopters. Black Hawk helicopters. Yes, I'll get yeah, to that. I'll, I'll get to that, Chloe. Military. We I'll know get... they're covering this shit up. They've been covering it up since Roswell. They've been okay. covering it up before that. And, 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 I, and, I, and they've been having, you know, the, the local radio yeah. been talking about it and okay, stuff on the cool. internet been talking about it. People saying, oh, it was a people chemical spill. And then some said, oh, maybe it was, yeah. it was, it was mercury because they use a lot of mercury. Yeah. Uh, in, yeah, <laughs> even though people have seen UFOs and believe in UFOs, we can't fucking release this information to them. No, there will be mass pandemonium. People will be freaking out. It's like, no, we won't. You don't know that. Not precise. You do okay. not know that. Not with all the movies that there's been. I mean, every, I mean, in the 80s, there was E.T., okay? They've been putting this shit out in our faces for a long time. My favorite Martian, what the fuck? The Jetsons? Come on. They've been putting it out there in our faces for a while. They've just oh, been yeah. keeping it undercover, oh, we can't let them know the truth. It's like, fuck you, Marvin the Martian. Yeah. It, it was supposed to be a taboo. Yeah, Kate, Kate, Kate asks, this was an X-Files episode, wasn't it? Well, it, not precisely exactly to this story as an X-Files episode, but not too far off. I think it more closely resembles the movie The Arrival with Charlie Sheen. Right, yes. If you, if you yes. remember that movie. Um, yeah, good movie, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it was a good film. Yeah, Charlie yeah, Charlie a did a film. good job in that film. Good movie. He plays a good, he plays a good, uh, uh, yep. conspiracy guy. I it, mean, it, like they said, they've been throwing it in our faces, but yeah, oh no, we can't, re we still can't release this information. We're just going to use it and sell it to Hollywood directors like Steven Spielberg so he can make E.T. Right, right. You know, it's like, fuck <laughs> you, fuck you, bitch. Thank you, Kate. Yeah, there's the, there's the link to that movie, The Arrival. Uh, anyway, so um, it says it led immediately to the suggestion uh, the, that the advanced technology inside the facility spotted something it shouldn't, such as proof of extraterrestrials, UFOs, or even some baseless speculation. Right, we can't have that. We can't have people know it, seeing this shit with their own eyes. Uh, well, it this says, is only for our eyes. These people can't handle the truth. They, they all freak out. It's it, like, it, fuck it, you. It goes on to say, but, but also some baseless speculation that the observatory had spotted that the sun had started dying. What? Uh, oh, that, well, that, now, see, no, see what happened. No, no, no. Now, They're see what like, happened. Oh, the sun's dry. It's cold. On last Sunday, on last Sunday, um, they're opened up, suddenly opened up, which is, I, I guess, how they open up anyway. I say suddenly, but that's apparently how they happen. A couple huge uh, coronal holes in in the sun. And and so from that, they you know, people could speculate all kinds of different things. And I do believe that, that stars throughout the universe are used as the center of for wormholes. And that worm, wormholes are use them to travel through. That you could, you know, go from star A to star whatever, Z. Um, 
a any of the millions of stars, billions of stars that are out there. And so I think when when that happens, then you you pop open a coronal hole when that when you do that. So somebody came from somewhere else and and wound up here. And it said the FBI and administration of the facility have said only that the shutdown happened because of a security issue. <laughs> But but they they won't tell the local sheriffs what's going on. Uh, they, they won't tell uh, anybody anybody at all what's going on. And the FBI is there, meaning it's a national security issue. If the FBI is there, it's not some chemical spill. It's it's, it's, it's not some minor little thing. It's something you yeah, do. Yeah, we're federal. We get special clearance, man. It's some it's, it's public some, person can't know this shit. Some it's what something to do. Ever? with national security at that point. Oh, come on. Give me a break with this national security crap. Well, I would say... I would say I, I would say oh, global God. global security at this point in time. If there that, was so na such national and global security, then 70 houses would have fucking blown up in fucking Boston, bitch. Okay, so then here's come this on. story from, from, from yesterday. Oh, my God. Six, six more solar observatories closed. Oh, not this one. Yeah, this one is like, <laughs> okay, you motherfuckers, we're on to you now. Six You're more were closed. For fucking reason. Um, and, and, and this could be the reason. It's, it's a follow-up oh of the previous article. Anyway, the National Solar Observatory in Sunspot, New Mexico, and nearby U.S. Postal Service offices were evacuated and shut down for security reasons on... Uh, last Sunday, September 9th, an observatory official said they uh, said, but they refused to tell the reason for the shutdown. Then NASA tries to explain what happened on September 9th by issuing a statement that there were two lunar transits fa passing in front of the sun. A lunar transit or a huge disc-shaped UFO. They try and say, oh, it's the moon. But the moon... As far as oh, the, the moon is a crescent. A the, the, well, no, not out, not out there in space. But the, the moon, oh, as right, far right. as and far as right. I, the moon, as far as I know, only orbits in a single direction, <laughs> and it and it doesn't move real fast. <laughs> Let me see if I got the video here. Um, hang, hang on a second. Where, where, where's that little video? Um, uh, I got it on another page. Hey, let, 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 let me let me pull that video up. Um, and we'll just, we'll just, you just be quiet over there. Let me, let me play a little bit of this, uh, if I can find the right spot in the video. Um, uh, let's see here, where he start? he's, he's talking about all kinds of stuff. Oh, wait, where'd I go? Okay. Um, first off, what the hell's that? What the hell's that up there? <laughs> You'll see it in a second on the screen. Um. But, uh, yeah, there's a something, something right there. Okay. Um, then there was these. These popped open. Boom, boom. A couple of sunspots there. All right. And let me get to the, the point. <laughs> Let's see here. He talks about a lot of stuff in this video. Ooh, look at that. Um, anyway, um... <laughs> All right, all right. Where, where is the part that I'm looking for? Is this it? This might be it. Uh, I don't think that's it. That's showing something else. That's showing another object down here. Big old object coming out. Let's see. i got to find out where that spot is that he was talking about it here. Is this it? Wait, let me, let me mute his ass. Let's see here. Might have been this part. No. No, 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 no. It's in here somewhere. That he, that the, uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, this is it. Let me play this part. Oh, it's playing. Okay, look at there. Okay. Now you see that? Crossing over there. This thing crossing off in front of the, in front of the moon. See that? Moose? Yes. Okay, keep watching. As I'll start, keep watching. And, 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 oh, okay, it's going again. Okay, 
Holy shit. Where, where, where's the other part? Come on, show the other part. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, but wait, but That's wait. That's the guru. Uh, That's too big to be a fucking single UFO. Well, it, I, you know, it's hard to That's tell. That's too fucking big. It, it's, hard to, it's, hard, the it's hard to tell the perspective. Zero. Okay. The, it's got to be. Let, let me... Let me let me see here. Whatever, however you it's say hard it, to tell the perspective because that thing was probably much closer to the camera. Right, right. That's right. what I'm saying. That's got to be in the bureau. They didn't want us to know that was happening. Well, not about that. Well, and then plus all the other alien craft that came to watch it as well. Okay, maybe it wasn't in this video that showed it, but that wow. thing that thing goes up and then it comes back the other direction. But that could have been photoshopped. That could just be easily fucking it, 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 But it's not. They got they got it right off of the uh, off of the camera, off of the solar, oh, wow. solar array thing. Let me see. I might have another video. No, they could they could take it, copy it. Like, you know what I mean? That could be disputed. It's just and it's moving way too fast. Well, it's moving way it's, too fast for the moon. <laughs> right, right. But that's gotta be. I don't know. I'm not, maybe it's not the zero. Yeah, it's but it's somewhere it, because it's because this big black object it goes up, da -da -da, that way, and then it comes back down again. Right, which I don't think Nibiru is really a planet. I think it's like a fucking the Death Star or whatever, you know, from Star Wars. It's like it's the Death Star. They just don't want us to know it exists. And they, oh my God, it got they they the cameraman fucked up and let it be visible. Yeah, something. But I it, think it, it's circling the planet, probably, and it's a fucking, it's like the Death Star, you know what I mean? Yep, the Death Star, that's what it is, exactly. <laughs> Dick Cheney's Death Star, yeah, yeah uh, Death Star. That, that, that's a possibility. Um, anyway, he, he doesn't show it in this planet, video, I guess. But, but it's not a planet, it's like the Death Star. Isn't that the big fucking thing, the round thing in Star Wars? Yeah, the Death Star. Yeah, that's the Death Star. That's right. what I'm saying. That's their version of the fucking Death Star. I mean, there's truth in the Star Wars movies. You guys look at ever, when you really watch them, and you follow the storyline. Yeah. There's a lot of truth in those movies. Same with Lord of the Rings. Same with fucking Planet of the Apes, for Christ's sake. Right, right. But man, there's hidden messages in movies. Okay? Sure. You shouldn't just use them. I mean, yeah, some movies can be just for entertainment only, like comedies or whatever, but some movies are actually, you read between the lines, yeah. they're fucking showing you this shit right there. If they got the technology to do the stuff they do in movies, that means they already have the technology to really do it. How could, you know what I mean? Right. I mean, so, they're, as far as the technology goes, the technology that we know about is like 20 years old. There's, there's like 20 years more technology that we don't know about. Because the government uses it for their own purposes and fuck the people. You know? Fuck the people. They sure. can't even fucking handle the fucking truth about aliens even though most of them know that they fucking exist. Yeah. Because they've seen our movies for years. Everyone's seen E.T. Everyone's seen, what's that one? Um, Close Encounters. Right. Right? Everyone's seen those. Those ones, those old-time ones that you like, uh, Grim, the fucking sci-fi old-time movies you like and shit, right? Yeah, I like them all. Like the fucking, in fucking, name some of the old shows, like, you know, that you used to watch. Like, the, what's the Danger Will Robinson? What's that one? <laughs> Lost in Space. Lost in Space. There you go. Yeah. Take Lost in Space, for instance. Do they have, like, taser light, taser guns and shit? Right. Kate, Kate says to go to 8.55 in that video. Did uh, they have teaser guns in Lost in Space? Like, guns that shot off uh, light? They had some goofy looking things, but... Okay, so, that means that technology existed. Really. Back then. But it's only gotten more and more. See, Eisenhower made a deal with the Greys. The fucking Greys want resources. The Earth has been raped for a reason. For gold and diamonds... Diamonds, especially the aliens and people from, or beings from other universes and shit, they love diamonds because they use that for communication. Diamonds is the hardest thing on earth. A 
diamond is the hardest thing on Earth. And it's highly sought after from planets that do not have diamonds. Sure, and so gold. They, yeah. they need gold, too. Right. And the Earth has gold and diamonds and copper. Oh, yeah, that's the, that's right. the landing that, that was that's there. That's why this planet's being fucking raped. Uh, that didn't because fall the from the sky. The government didn't deal with fucking aliens. Just, and then it, we got, like, self, the government got stealth technology in return. It was yeah. like a trade and barter system. You give us our your diamonds and gold and shit, and we'll we'll give you our stealth technology. Yeah, this that that one didn't didn't fall from the sky. That came down and landed, and and uh, the beings got out. Oh, that's cool. That video is awesome, actually. That's really fucking telling right there. Yeah, but that that's that's not this one. That's from a no, different one. No, but that wow, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And Cowboy Duck. Wow. Cowboy Tech has the one with the, with the two things. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so that, that, that's, let me, let me pull up his. No, um, but they're like, oh, we can't let them home with the this shit. Like, I remember it was fucking 25 years ago, and I was in a bookstore in Duluth, Minnesota, and I picked up this fucking conspiracy book, and it fucking told a story about Eisenhower making a deal with the grave. And I okay. was like... That right. explains so fucking much. All right, well, yeah, yeah. What, what, so what? I was just starting out. Like I was just starting out. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that was like, the, I remember that feeling. Here, my here, let, 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 like, listen, Oh, let, I gotta dig into this bit more. You let, know listen I mean? to a little bit of this one here. Okay. On SDO, and all three, or all, both of these, um, both 193 angstroms and 171 angstroms, both saw the an anomaly. Watch it now, really close. See, it goes that way, and then it comes back the other way. Let's just look at that on one here. It goes down and up. So that, that, that should not happen. Should and I have happen. a suspicion that the reason that the, the Sunspot Observatory was shut wow. down, uh, hopefully only temporarily, was to hide this from the scientific community because, but the the question would have to be why are they leaving it up on NASA's site if it's so obvious? Right, exactly. It's it, it's so it's so blatant. It's it's out there, you know. Um, and uh, <laughs> wow. So and, and you saw how fast it was moving. That's that's not. That could be like a lens. You know, when you have a camera, you're changing lenses. You get that fucking. This is, this is a camera out in space. I know, but it. <laughs> they're not. They're not. Nobody's I'm out just there. Saying they couldn't change the shutter speed. Or <laughs> no, I don't no, know. no, 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 no. What? Watch some more here. That's what's going on? Okay. All right. It still could be just a very normal, you know, thing. It is. But I don't think so because I've never seen this, the moon eclipse the sun and then come back the other way. I just wonder if these two things are linked. This, but, you know, the, the reason he's never seen the moon. Eclipse the sun and then go back the other way is because it doesn't do that. <laughs> it can't do that. <laughs> the moon only goes in one direction. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, like I said, there's been a lot of big stories this week, but hey, nothing, nothing like. I mean, if these guys are coming, if they're shutting down all, 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 well, all, 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 all these you observatories. Know what? They're gonna shut that. Keep that. Hush, hush, they, they do not want you to know about what's going no, on out there. No, they do not. There. They don't want you to know about it. They just, you know, the media can't help but report it. If they see a bunch of FBI agents show up in an observatory, there's any members of the public there, well, then they have to do a story on it. But they're not going to tell you the fucking truth. They're just going to say they were shut down. They're not going to tell you the reason why, the true reason why. They're just going to fucking say, these motherfuckers are shut down. See, this is the beauty of an oligarchy. You know you're being lied to, bitches. You should know. If you don't, I'm sorry for you because they got you. Right. <laughs> they got you. And uh, it, it, it's, a, it's the whole thing. And so, I, I mean, if, if that was, and they are coming here, then they'll be here soon. Well, we've been saying that for a while. Well, it wouldn't necessarily have to have been an eclipse, Box 5, because... We're just talking about the fact that it passed in front of the in front of the camera, not not that it was going to block out the sun or the earth. 
Um, no, so. he was just talking about the beeps, like, you know, when a truck necks up. The oh, beeps, right, right, he, right. Yeah, we would have heard that, that, you know. He was yeah. being, trying to be funny. <laughs> Telling a joke. Telling a joke. I only, I, see, I, I got to read the whole <laughs> se- the whole statement I just read, if it was in the right. clips. He didn't right. read the whole statement. And I it, stopped it, reading it, right I there. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, let's play some more music. <laughs> It's time for that, I feel. I do, too. Well. I mean, yeah, we, uh... I think it's a good time for that. Uh, absolutely. Crazy shit, motherfuckers. This is the world we live in. Enjoy it. All Enjoy right. This, this is the douchebag Jimmy Fallon there, but he's not He's not the video. He's just the introducer. <laughs> the debut of their new single, When the Curtain Falls. Give it up for Greta Van Fleet! Indigenous there for y'all. Uh, requested by Mr. Sock Puppet. Yes, indeed, very good stuff. Uh, indigenous, rest of my days, back from uh, 2014 there. Thank you, Blues Broad. Uh, before that, we had the Rolling Stones and right up on down in a little car that started a conversation here in the chat. Nice Mustang fastback. And we kicked it off with Greta Van Fleet doing their new track, When the Curtain Falls, live on Jimmy Fallon now. For you all, so uh, good stuff all around. Yeah, very nice set. Yeah. Uh, very relaxing, very just really awesome music. Yeah. Just yeah. awesome guitar work. I'm Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, I'm a dancer. I appreciate it. You know, I love it. I love trying to move my my body the same way the guitarist is playing. It's, just, it's hard to explain. It's a dancer's thing. Right. You have to be a dancer to get it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, very good set. Like, I said with oh, Greta Van Fleet, I don't want them to copy Led Zeppelin. If they have good lyrics and shit, oh, well, they got the, they're going to make it big. Dude. Yeah, you're, you're going to hear, you're, you're gonna hear on their new album that's coming out. Um, yep. they, they've got a lot of stuff that just sounds like Greta Van Fleet. doesn't sound like Oh, Zeppelin. cool. That's what I want. See, I don't want to copy of Led Zeppelin. I mean, well, no, I, I but, guess uh, but that's why they kind of shot to, like, you know, being noticed and everything. Oh, yeah. But I want them to really just be musicians and do their own shit. You know what I mean? Well, they, they, they're, they're, most they're of their songs, yeah. uh, yeah, no, you'll, you'll tell. It, it's, uh. They're obviously talented pe- musicians. That's how I view them right now. And they're young, which is awesome. They're just starting out, dude. It can only get better from here, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So no, no worries there. They'll, they'll, uh, as, as long as they, you know, they don't. Oh yeah, I'm a fan. I'm totally a fan. As long as, long as they don't get all I'm full of themselves or anything. I just, yeah, I hope. What I hope is that they just rise to stardom. You know, just like I hope they just do their own thing and just get better and better. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. I said as long as they, as long as they don't yeah. get full of themselves, they'll be all right. Right. Yeah. You know, and, and, I mean, and that, that's going to be very support. hard not to do. <laughs> it's great. It's great because they're musicians and they're brothers, like you said. And it's yeah. just, you know what? That's a great story right there. That's an awesome fucking deal. Right. You know, music, I believe in music so much that, I mean, music, seriously, if it wasn't for music, I would be dead. You know, I just need it. I've always needed it my whole life. I used to take piano lessons. I used to take dance lessons. I mean... I've been exposed and around music my whole life. Like, it's, it's my life. I can't, like, have not have it, you know? Sure. That's, it's like a drug to me, which, it, you know, it's a hard, it's not going to kill me, <laughs> you know? Right. It's a good drug to be addicted to. That's how I look at it, you know? Oh, perfect, yeah. And I want to move my body. I'm a dancer. I, I want to express how I feel when I'm listening to awesome music. See, that's why I dance. Okay. You know, and it's awesome exercise, too, you know, besides that point. But it's right. like, I if I feel the need to move my body to someone's musical plane, that's what I want, I'm going to do, you know. That's what I want to do, you know. Right. I'm a dancer, so a lot of people don't understand what I'm talking about if they're not a dancer themselves. But you can relate music-wise, right? Sure. The music makes stirs an emotion in you, right? Yeah, oh yeah. 
uh, some music, not all, but you know what I mean, certain songs or whatever, you know, they they bring you back to a time or they fucking, you know, it just, it, I'll hear a certain song and I'll be instantly transported to like a time of my childhood. And I'm like, oh yeah, remember that time? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I just think music, if, if it wasn't for music, like I said, I would fucking literally be dead. You know, maybe not physically dead, but I would be dead soul-wise, you know? Right. And all you musicians out there, I love you all. Like, I wish I could play, like, I could do tambourine. And I did take piano lessons. <laughs> but I'm not a musician, you know? But I can keep beat, so that's for... I was in the percussion section when I was in a uh, high school band mm -hmm. for one year. <laughs> I was, like, a, I played the bells. Like, you have this thing that you, you have, like, this whole, like, harness that holds it and everything. Right. Like, have you ever watched, like, the, the University of Minnesota band or any big school, Big Ten school band? Uh, I've seen Or them, any yeah. big university band. Right. They'll have these bells, and you have these, like, plastic mallets that you... You know, and I learned by heart. I'm not a musician, so I couldn't read the music. I just copied my friend. Like, I learned it by watching her. <laughs> you know sure, what I mean? Sure, sure. Yeah, and so, but I could be in the percussion section. I have been in the percussion section. So I would be an excellent tambourine player. I'm or sure a you washboard would. player, for that matter. Or a what player? Washboard. Oh, washboard, yeah. Yep, I could, because I, I have rhythm, because so I'm a dancer. <laughs> you know, dancers have rhythm. You can't be a dancer without having rhythm. It, I mean, otherwise you'd look like those dorky white guys that don't know what the fuck they're doing. It looks like they're having a seizure all day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta have rhythm. But everybody has rhythm. You just have to find it. Right. I, you have I, to I, find I, it and don't be afraid to express it. That's, you know, don't let anything hold you back. You back. Life is too fucking short. To be all fucking worried and shit. The older you get, the more you realize that life is too short to be fucking worried about what other people think, or how you look like, whatever. You know what I mean? It's all about you, baby. And what you want to do. You yeah. know what I mean? Sure, absolutely. I and, can't. And that's I, how I, it should be. I, I Otherwise, you'll be miserable. <laughs> I can't dance. I, I got my, my, my feet are too big. That's and okay. they're like. You don't have to. They're, they're like lead. And, and, but you and, love and, music. And, and they're both left feet. <laughs> but you, no, they're not. But you love music. I love music. Yeah, no. You, you love but, the but, food. But, but you I, love I really. music. You, you know what I mean? You are, you're there. Even though you're not a dancer, you don't have to be a dancer. No, no, definitely not. You're probably yeah. a musician. Have you ever tried to play guitar? Or any musical instrument? I, I can play guitar. Okay, well, there you go. Do you have one? I have one. Well, then you should just pick it up once in a while and just fuck around. Yeah, 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 yeah. You seem like a musician yeah, to me. I, I, I'm just saying. I, and I got this thing. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I have like that. that. That was really good. Yeah, and, and wow. I, and, I, and I got a little keyboard. Yeah, no, I got some stuff. See, you're a musician, dude. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. You're a fucking musician. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, one of the big stories here in the... But you... no, I think you should play some more of that harmonica, just a little bit. No, no, little no, bit no, no, we're good. We're good. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> it sounded really good. <laughs> did, just did a couple more I played like three notes here. Oh, okay. See? Got talent. You're good. Yep, awesome, huh? I knew it. Okay. I don't even know who Tom Cochran is. Um <laughs> anyway, so one of the big story, <laughs> one of the big stories here this week was the uh, Hurricane Florence, of course, um, which is still a big yes. story because it's still pounding. Yes. It's dumping pounding. rain on those poor people. Yes. Life is a highway. Okay. A anyway, um, so 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 that's pounding the the east coast. But see, you see that map on the screen there. Yes, I do. All these storms approaching. All these storms. <laughs> and Kate says it's missing a missing one called Joyce. But anyway, we got, okay. we got we got all kinds of hurricanes and they're lined up all yeah, around look at that. all That's around the, the planet at this point in time. So That's crazy shit right there. So 
So from this article here over on ZeroHedge.com, a record seven named storms are swirling across the globe. Has the day after tomorrow arrived? <laughs> oh, you mean the movie? Yeah, yeah, you remember that movie, Day After Tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> so this is by Michael Snyder of the Economic Collapse blog, but it's on Zero okay. Edge. Um, it says, is something extremely unusual happening to our planet? At this moment, Hurricane Florence is just one of seven named storms that are currently circling the globe. This matches the all-time record, and it looks like that record will be broken very shortly as a couple more storms continue to develop. Back in 2004, the blockbuster, entitled The Day After Tomorrow, it was a horrible movie, uh, depicted a, a world in which weather patterns had gone mad. One of the most impressive scenes showed nearly the entire planet covered by hurricane-type storms all at once. Of course, things are not nearly as bad as they were in that film, but during this hurricane season, we have definitely seen a very unusual number of hurricanes and typhoons develop. As our planet continues to change, could this become the new normal? What? Somebody talk to me over here? I don't know. All right. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I, I would say no. This is just kind of a fluke. I'm just listening. Sorry. I, I would say no, this is not going to be the new normal. This is just a fluke thing <laughs> that's going on right now. And um, and we are probably looking at an El Nino this year. Um, oh, yeah. You know, you bring it on. Like, we've had everything here. We've had torrential rains. We've had flash flooding in the state. Places have become emergency, you know, areas or whatever. Right by the governor and shit. It's been horrible. It's been bad. I mean, there might be, it might be increasing, and I think it is because they fuck, they're man trying to manipulate the weather, and you should never try to do that. You should never try to fuck with Mother Nature on this kind of a scale or a level. That's my take. It's like, leave it the fuck alone. You know? And the, the, the Mother Nature gives us this plant, or, and many, many several plants. That's just one plant, weed, Everyone's sitting there, oh, weed, weed, weed. But guess what? Dandelions are good for you. But most people are like, oh, get rid of them dandelions. So they're willing to spray fucking poisonous weed killer on plants that are edible and good for you. So does that make any fucking sense at all? It, it does not. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's like, what the fuck are we doing? People are all, like, pointing fingers and all wrapped up in the politics and everything. It's like, why don't you guys fucking... Look at the fucking truth and figure it out. Because guess what? Politics don't mean shit if everything's poison and toxic. There's no food to fucking eat. Politics goes out the fucking window. And right. you're like, oh, there's no good food to eat. It's all toxic. Well, maybe you should have thought about that 50 fucking years ago. Yeah, maybe. You're all like wrapped up in your politics shit. And you should be concentrating on the poisons and shit that are being dumped on our fucking shit. Come on. Wake up, people. Get a grip on fucking reality. You know? Reality sure. is, you need fucking clean air and good food to eat, or you're going to fucking be dead. And clean water to drink. Or you're going to be fucking dead. Right. You know? Fucking get a grip. Get over your shit. Fucking realize that when it comes down to basics, that's what matters. Because a human being... No matter what the fuck nationality you are, what the fuck color your skin is, you need water to drink, you need food to eat, and you need clean air to breathe, or you will be dead. Right. Period. No matter who, where the fuck you live, or what your political affiliation is, or what color the skin your skin is, you'll only be dead if you do not have these symptoms things that like humans require to survive. So get over your fucking shit and wake the fuck up. Yeah, yeah the good fucking part is fucking Pay good. Pay attention to shit that really fucking matters. Anyway, so, so this is... Save uh, your fucking ass and save your... If you want to have kids or if you have kids, you don't want them to grow up in a toxic environment. 
Do you? Uh, n no, no. All right. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, this shows this shows all the all the uh, storms in motion there. Uh, Sock Puppet posted this link up there in the chat, but uh, yeah, you can see all these storms running across uh, this, this area, obviously. Yeah, crazy shit going. It's, you know, they're manipulating the weather. They're they're fucking with all these storms. Right. They they you know and this you know people that support government. Why would you support something <laughs> that is constantly trying to harm you? Like they're trying to make the storms worse is what they're doing. Like exactly. oh we can't just have them be hit by regular natural hurricanes. No, no. we gotta fuck with them and try to make them worse or whatever. You know, so, keep but, them under our spell. But you know? but but anyway, those folks out there fuck on me. those folks out there those folks out there in the Carolinas. Uh, I already closed it. Scroll in on those. They're getting fucking hammered, dude. Okay, okay, They're hang on, hang hammered. on, hang on. Let me reopen that one, and he wants me to scroll in on them. Okay. <laughs> Let me go back over there. That's fine. We can do that. We can do that here. Yeah, we have the technology. We're All not right. CNN, and we have the technology. you got to wait for it to redraw no, once, once it golden. comes up. Oh, I scroll in, and it, it bends it. <laughs> Move, there you go. Move up. I'll, I'll, there you yeah, go. Turn, turn the earth, rotate. Turn the earth, to turn the earth upside down. Okay, there you go. Yeah, okay, there we go. There's and, Africa. And then, let, me, let me get this all in here. Okay, yep. <laughs> you got it. You got it. There you go. There's okay. Australia. Yeah. <laughs> There's Antarctica. <laughs> so there they are. All the storms rotating around. There we around. go. See, look at that. That's nasty, actually. <laughs> Yeah, that's there's crazy. Africa, Africa wow. turning sideways over there. Wow, that's that's yeah, wow. And the southern hemisphere is like in spring right now, right? Like just about heading into spring right now. Right. So it's a different time of season for them. The western yeah. hemisphere, or I mean the southern hemisphere, whatever. The, you know. What I'm how do I do this? I don't know, I don't know, how do I make this? It's been a while since I've been in school, which is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy my kids are out of school. Like the other day, um, I I was looking at the news, like so they're not in public high school anymore. They're at college, which is a public college, but whatever. It's, you know, and it's still school. But anyway, um, there was bomb threats called in to both North and Memorial High Schools in Eau Claire. It's like really. They caught the one person here that was local, but there was actually some kid in California that he was, like, gaming with or whatever that called in the bo another bomb threat. It's like, you fucking moron. Yeah. So these are teenage young dumb shits, right? Yeah. But they don't they don't mess around with that shit anymore. You know what I mean? No, they don't give them, they got I mean, no sense these of These kids are looking at prison, you know, or being tried as adults just for calling in a bomb threat. It's like... Back in the day in the 80s, you know, they just catch you, you know, people would do prank stuff and everything. It was no big deal. It was just like a slap on the wrist. Nowadays, they're like, oh, you're a domestic terrorist. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just yeah. like, you know, people forget what happens since 911. And I we really haven't talked about 911, but um, the anniversary or whatever it just happened. And my kids were one when it happened. Okay, they were babies. I was holy and Zachary in my lap when I fucking was watching the TV and, you know, he was one years old, one year old. And, um, I was thinking to myself, and I actually freaked out a little bit. I was thinking to myself, what kind of fucking world did I bring kids into? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I always wanted kids, but I didn't want to bring them into a fucked up world. You know what I mean? Sure. And so I kind of feel bad sometimes, even now. Like, oh, I brought them into this fucked up world, but you know what? It's better to bring people, you know what I mean? It was supposed to happen. Like, I'm not questioning that anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. But when they were babies, I was like, what kind of world is this? What kind of world is it going to be when they're fucking 30? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Right. Those thoughts go through, went through my head. Anyway, I, I you know? understand. I mean, especially if that shit happened. I'm holding my, my one-year-old child, and I'm watching this shit go down. It's just like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Sure. It was really, like, weird. It, it was, like, a surreal, almost. You know? It was surreal. Like, I feel like when I was watching that footage on TV, 
Uh-huh. I felt, like, numb. I really felt numb, like, you know, which I think is a normal, because this shit's happening and you're watching it and you're just like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, all right. But then I found out the truth about it, you know. Right. And how it was all fucking inside job and shit. Sure, I'm sure. I'm like, you motherfuckers. You know, then I got really fucking pissed off. Really pissed off. And that's what started this whole fucking journey. Well, I was on the journey before that, but 911 really fucking made me fucking want to go gangbusters, dude. I was like, fuck you motherfuckers. You know? Yeah. I got children I just brought in this fucking world, you motherfuckers. <laughs> you know? <laughs> You're know. not going to fuck this up. No. Right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so that's that's the crusade I've been on since then. We're talking 17 fucking years now. You know? All right, I got, I got a little story. <laughs> I got a little story here for you that I got to share. Okay. And something totally different. All right. It's a, it says a controversy surrounds New Missouri newspaper's name. Now oh, I heard about this this morning. The, there, okay. there's, a, there's a town in Missouri called Uranus. Uranus, yep. Uranus. <laughs> and they got a new newspaper coming out. Uranus Examiner. <laughs> Uranus Examiner. It's okay. No, okay, you're I stop you there because it's not Uranus. It's Uranus. There's a difference between your anus <laughs> and Uranus. Um, uh, yeah, I'll bet I'm saying. People pronounce it wrong. No, but it's, it's really Uranus. It's not your anus. It's Uranus. It's Uranus Examiner. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it says, it says the, the name... Uh, and that's the name Natalie Sanders, the managing editor, announced uh, uh, on Wednesday afternoon. We thought about Constitution, but most of our people who uh, love us were part of coming up with the name. They liked the name Examiner better. The announcement was made Wednesday at a Chamber of Commerce luncheon at the uh, Waynesville Daily Guide and shut uh, was shut down by the parent company. <laughs> it, the man considered the mayor of Uranus... <laughs> Uranus, not your anus, Uranus. The mayor, not the mayor, your anus. The mayor of Uranus, Louis Keene, is backing the newspaper, the weekly newspaper, to fill the void uh, left by the the one that was closed down. Anyway, I don't have to share it with you. It was just that the beginning part there that I found. Yeah, it's it, why humorous. would I mean, but even though it is Uranus, why would they call it an examiner? The why don't they just call it like the daily fucking paper. I mean, yeah. what they, is, you know, they, they could have called it so anything. You know, going to be the butt of many jokes. <laughs> the butt what of many... What the fuck are you thinking? The butt of many jokes. <laughs> yes, the butt of many jokes. No pun intended. Yes, Sock Actually, Puppet. Actually, pun intended. <laughs> as, yeah, as, as Sock Puppet points out, the mayor of that Uranus like, has a shitty job. Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> okay, your anus, it's, okay, I'm going to type in the chat, your anus is two words. <laughs> and Uranus is one word. Right, right, right. Okay, right, right. so there is a difference. We understand the difference, Okay, thank girl. you. I'm just saying that we're, because we're I was actually fun. doing this on the way to work. I'm like, okay, <laughs> your anus is different than Uranus. We're having fun There's with the homophone. Uranus is the planet. Your anus is your butt. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know, that's what it is. I'm sorry, you know. Hey, I'm 51. I can say whatever the fuck I want. Basically, no. We're, we're having fun with the words. I get a senior discount already for being 51. We're we're allowed we're we're, we're, we're allowed to have fun with I'm words here. I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm doing good. I get I get 25 percent off on Tuesdays at the thrift store for being over 50. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> says, after Sanders announced Wednesday's after, Wednesday afternoon's uh, uh, announcement Wednesday afternoon, Waynesville Mayor Luge Hardman or <laughs> Luge Hardman stood up and asked for the microphone. 
He says, no, but I'm sorry. He can't, he can't read the story. <laughs> he says, no, I'm sorry, but the innuendo of that title puts my city up for public ridicule. Ridicule, I will not be part of it, <laughs> hard man said. <laughs> <laughs> is his first name Richard? Hard man wants no part of Uranus. <laughs> I think his first name is Richard. No, his first name is Luge, whatever that is. L U G E. L U G E. His name is Luge, like after the slap. I, I guess. I don't know. What the fuck? Who would name your kid Luge? What the hell? Well, if your last name was Hardman, I, I don't Luge, know. Luge, Sled? <laughs> Olympic sled hard man. Nice. And he wants no hard man wants no part of Uranus. <laughs> oh my god. Is this a real thing? <laughs> I posted the if link I there. Why they told right now. <laughs> it comes from, from your paper, W E A U. <laughs> no way, really? Yeah. Okay, I gotta click on W E A U now. There it is. Oh look god. look right there, I put the link in the chat. Can't be real. Oh, I, I don't believe you. I believe you. <laughs> What the story is going to get here? <laughs> I put the link right there in the chat. Okay, I'll okay. All right, I'm, I'm going to play some music while you uh, like, Yeah, peruse. let's do that. I mean, this is getting out of control. Happy <laughs> Just Friday. Hope you guys are having a good time. I know I am. Oh, God. How could you not have a good How time right not? here at the Freaker's Ball? Right? I mean, it's the Freaker's Ball, people. It's real living the media. song from the land of Vinny there. I guess she's my cousin, but she needs some sweet loving. Anyway, that's the Dead South from Moose Girl. Banjo Odyssey. Uh, before that, a little mashup there. Rat and Marvin Gaye doing I Heard It Round and Round the Grapevine. Uh, some guy, Bill McClintock, is the one that posted that up. And uh, we kicked it off there with uh, Leonard Skinner. Uh, talk to him about a little bit of irony here. Leonard Skinner, Sweet Home, Alabama, live in Atlantic City. <laughs> That's on their new album. It'll be coming out next Friday. Um, yeah, they got the uh, brand new album, uh, Leonard Skinner. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be any new material on it or not. Um, I mean, uh, any new songs, anyway. But, uh, yeah, live in Atlantic City. You want to you wanna talk about your, uh, <laughs> your Yanks <laughs> there, <laughs> where Leonard Skinner's involved? Yeah, you don't get much more yanks in Atlantic City. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you. It's a, it's a funny-ass world that we live in. I'm here. What? I'm here now. Did something happen? To I'm here now. Okay, good. I good. was muted, I was typing, I was talking, I was chatting, you know, I was multitasking. <laughs> Anyway, what you we do here I, at the Figures Ball. We multitask. Did, did you hear what I said about that new Leonard Skinner album? I did. I heard. It's awesome. It's great. Live, live, in, live in Atlantic City. That's great. That's <laughs> awesome. I'm happy about that. Yeah, that's 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 Yank Town for sure. It's um, good that they released that. So, rape is a tactic of war. It has been a tactic of war and just control over people for a while, like, Kings are just walking to fucking people's houses to say, I'm going to fucking fuck your wife. There was nothing that the fucking husband could do about it. The king wanted to fuck your wife. The king would fuck your wife. Right. That's how it was, people. So that's rape. Okay? The king fucking your wife. That means the king raped your fucking wife. Because odds are she didn't want to have sex with that motherfucker. <laughs> you know? You know Odds <laughs> So, give me a break about only Muslims rape, because no, rape has been a tactic of control over people for a long fucking time. Well, you know, when... when the, and not just Muslims, every human being. You, you, know, you, you, know, you know, when the Vikings went out and did their raping and pillaging, they, they weren't trying to control anybody, they were just trying to take their shit. It didn't matter what oh, you had. they killed everybody. Yeah, they, they, they gave you. All up, all up, they'd rape care. you and then they'd kill you. That's what they did. <laughs> they'd rape you and then kill you. Or they'd take you as a slave, as a sex slave, and just use you for sex for a while, then kill you. Well, whatever, you know, whatever, whatever it yeah. was worth. Yeah, yeah. War is so 
lovely, isn't it? It's never oh, been lovely. You're fucking Thor awesome. has never been lovely, no matter what era you're talking about. You could be talking about the 1400s or the fucking 2018. War is never fucking pretty. War fucking sucks. It War does. War kills people, and it fucking, it's all about control. Some rich bitches having control or something. It's like, <laughs> fuck you. Hey, we're not, we're not, we're not playing name that tune here, Chloe. Um. <laughs> oh God. Anyway, I, I, I want to talk about something a little fun here. Um, okay, let's talk about something. Because uh, we uh, we never really do this here on this show, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Um, and this is from uh, CarlsbadCravings.com. I'm gonna share with you a recipe. Um, the Chipotle beef barcoa recipe. And uh, I'm going to skip okay. down through all their, their description and photos. Chipotle? Like the chain? The, the no, no. It's, chain. Well, it's, you know where do you think they got their name? From a style. Right. From a, it's, okay. From a so style the stuff. style. So not the chain restaurant. We're talking actual Chipotle. Yeah. Right. All right. <laughs> slow cooker beef barcoa. The Ooh. slow cooker Mexican beef barcoa is extremely tender, juicy, easy, and bursting Yum. with rich, spicy, customizable, complex flavors. Great for large crowds, uh, or so make a head of meals, or right? make it make a head of meals for tacos, burritos, nachos, yep. salads, whatever. So here's what you need: you need uh, one chuck roast, three to five pounds, trim the trim the uh, fat. You trim it to okay. fat and, uh, and cut it into eight or ten pieces. A tablespoon right. of olive oil, and then in the okay. slow cooker, you put a half a cup of, of mild red enchilada sauce, uh, two four ounce cans of mild chopped green chilies. You can do okay. these fresh too if if you're right, right. Yeah, uh, two chipotles in adobo sauce, uh, two tablespoons of lime juice, uh, two tablespoons apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons brown sugar, one tablespoon Worcestershire, uh, one to three teaspoons of liquid smoke, depending on how much smoke tastes you like. Uh, one table, one tablespoon each of ground cumin and dried oregano. Two table teaspoons of salt, maybe a little extra. Uh, one teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder. Uh, one half teaspoon of chili powder and smoked paprika, and a quarter two quarter teaspoon each of ground cloves, ground cinnamon, and two bay leaves. So the instructions for this is it's simple enough. Heat one tablespoon of olive oil in a large skillet over a, mar a medium high heat. Uh, once very hot, add the cubed beef and, and sear on all sides. Uh, transfer the beef to the six quart or larger slow cooker with the remaining ingredients. Stir to combine, cover on high, cook on high for three and a half to four and a half hours or on low for six to eight hours until the beef shreds easily with a fork. Remove the beef to a cutting board. Do not discard the juices in the slow cooker. Shred and add back to the slow cooker and toss with the slow cooker juices. Uh, cook on low for 20 minutes for beef to absorb the juices for additional hot sauce. Um, add lime juice and brown sugar to taste. Remove the beef and pair it with a pair of tongs to a serving bowl or strain in a colander so tacos don't get soggy. If you would like a saucier beef, add additional enchilada sauce. And she's got some notes here and stuff like that, but, um, mmm. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Yeah. Well, Sounds I, really I, good. I saw this the other day. I was like, dang, that's, uh, I got to, I got to. Yeah, no kidding. I got to I got to make some of that. Out. Time. That's that's um that's an awesome ass recipe. I'll put the I'll put the link yeah. into the into the blog too in case you miss it here. But uh, there it is. Um, so uh, yeah, that uh, you look at the pictures on that page there at, at your own free. Well, I have not made it yet. I just found this a couple of days ago. Sock. Um, <laughs> but it sounds freaking awesome. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to say. Uh, I'm gonna have to try and find some of these chipotles. I, I don't. I, I don't think I've ever seen those around. Uh, I can get the enchilada sauce and the top green chilies. I can get fresh green chilies there. But uh, I, don't, I, don't, nice. I, don't, yeah. I don't know about these chipotles and adobo sauce. But uh, but no, that sounds yummy, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's how I thought I'd share. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. No, that, uh, you know, I'm really 
in the vintage shit. Like, I, I remember stuff was made right back in the day. Like, before all this shit was made out of plastic and shit. Yeah. You know, and now we got a problem with plastic. In the ocean, the killing animals. And it's like, you motherfucker. You took it overboard. Now we got this plastic shit. It's the first show I ever did as a broadcaster. I talked about this. And it's only gotten worse since then. Yeah. And it's like, motherfuckers. You know? And so I'm like in the antiques and vintage shit. Like, if I see something old school, I want to fucking buy it. You know what I mean? Because right. it's, it, it's before the plastic fucking revolution. Or not even revolution, the plastic explosion. Mm-hmm. You know, so much shit's made out of plastic. Like, back in the day, they used real steel and real wood to make tools. You know? Nowadays, they they fucking try to make all this cheap shit. It's just like, really? Really? These are assholes who are even making this shit. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, no doubt just about it. dumb stuff. Dumb stuff, too. Like, back in the day, stuff was made for practical purposes. Not just for, like, novelty. You know? It's like, what the fuck happened? You know? What the fuck happened? Where we went away from fucking natural shit. We went away. We went to... We actually settled for less quality crap. You know? Back right. in the day, you didn't have to replace something. Because it wasn't a piece of shit. You bought something that lasted. It's how you fucking die. You buy a tool back in the fucking 1950s. That motherfucker, unless you fucking lose it or leave it in the rain, it's going to last you 50 fucking years. At least. Right? At least, yeah. You know? Now we get this plastic crap. Look at cars. Most of the body is fucking plastic. The bumpers are fucking plastic. Well, yeah. Bumpers and... Well, there's there's steel behind them. Right. But the outer part, like the whole outer part basically of a vehicle now... Is fucking plastic. What the sure. fuck happened? I don't know. What the fuck? You, you, How did we go away <laughs> from quality shit to non-quality? Well, it's easier to produce. You know? No, but even I bought an old house. I bought a house built in 1949. You know why? Mm-hmm. Because it has real fucking wood doors. Real wood. Not this fucking pulp wood shit. Actually, solid fucking wood doors. Last handle. Last yeah, wait, handle. wait, your your interior doors are solid. Yes, they're very solid. They, this house was built in 1949. They it, were still pretty... making doors out of solid wood back then, in, the, in the, that time. Yeah, it's I have pretty, solid pretty rare. wood woodwork. I have solid wood doors with glass handles on them. Yeah, it's, it's, like, pretty, it's pretty rare to find out. 1949. I'm not good. I mean, from 1949. Yeah. My door handles are from 1949. Okay. I'm just saying. I mean, they used to make shit right back then. That lasted. Now, we got tools fucking going on with this plastic crap. Plastic is good for a lot of shit. But not for everything. Like, don't make every fucking thing out of plastic. Because it doesn't biodegrade. It takes like 300 years. And all, it, all plastic does is break down into small pieces. So, the water's going to well, get fucked up. The oceans now, are getting I, fucked I, up. I, I, I the animals are getting <laughs> fucked up. It's all getting fucked up. I, I kind of question the numbers of how long it takes to break down. Because, as you stated, it takes 300 years. Well, something like that. Well, I, I, I understand. I understand that. that, 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 that it's that, like a very long... It's not biodegradable. That, that's plastic what they say. It's like the least biodegradable thing there is on the planet. However, however... How long ago was plastic created? Not very long ago, but it's certainly not shit out. certainly not three hundred years. So we don't know. <laughs> but what I'm saying, it's getting clogged. All plastic can do is break down into small pieces. Well, speaking of plastic, That's the problem with it, like these islands, like okay, there's companies out there. This is what I hate about government: is that some private company will come along with a great idea to clean shit up. Like, they actually have a good invention. They can go, like, remove the plastic items that are floating around the ocean, right? And causing damage to wildlife. Right. But yet the government's all like, oh, no, fuck you, poo-poo in it, right? 
Yeah. What does that tell you about government? It tells you that they do not have the people's best interests at heart. Of government course not. Government exists to make money off the fucking people and to fuck you up. <laughs> so if you if you support this, you're supporting the oppression and the fucking just abuse of people. Right. You know? They don't care about you. They don't care about you. They never you, did. If you think they do, they never will. If you think they give a shit about you, you, just you, you alone. Right. They don't give a fuck about you alone. They give a about fuck, fuck about people that are in groups. Right? They don't care about then them they either. They send some fucking motherfucker they, in they there. They don't care about the group. the group, right? They don't care about the groups. Right. No, they don't. Well, they do. No, they'll send people in to infiltrate the groups. They do. Yeah. You know, they want to they wanna control groups because they get troops to, like, vote for Donald Trump and make, think, make them think that voting really is, is, is on the up and up and it's all legit and everything. Yeah, that's how these political action committees are formed. <laughs> get a clue, people! Get a fucking clue! Oh, God. Anyway, anyway, uh, about Hans, even though Hans thinks that they care about it. He's a fucking soldier, right? Right. Fuck. He gets shot and killed. All they're gonna do is send his fucking Oma a fucking flake, an American fucking ray. Right. Put it in a fucking coffin. And then they'll give her one to keep, you know, in her house and display it. Yeah, my fucking grandson was a fucking hero. <laughs> Yeah, that's there you right. Go. Anyway, anyway, speaking that's of... That's not just Hans, it's everybody that's in the military. Men and women are in the military now. And you yeah. know what happens to women in the military? When it first started being... Whenever they first started allo allowing women to the military, you know? Yeah. You know what happened? What happened? Rape. 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 Rape fucking happened. Because these motherfucking guys that are in the military are all fucking hotheads. It's all about control. You're a fucking sergeant, right? And so, if you're in a higher power than a GI, and it's a woman, you rape her, she's not going to fucking say nothing. Because you're in a higher rank than her. Right. And so, this was a real problem until some people, women, finally spoke out and said, this is fucking bullshit. You know? Yeah, yeah. back to rape. You know what? Because it's fucking reality, bitch. Hey, now, okay, now listen here. Um, the, speaking of plastic and rape... It's a war tactic, hey. and you're stupid if you think it isn't. Oh, God. Anyway, Moose, <laughs> speaking, yeah. of, speaking of plastic... Don't fucking call me out for talking about what I want to fucking talk about on my own fucking show. You want to fucking talk about what you want to talk about? Then do your own fucking show. All right, all it's right. It's easy to sit all back right, there and criticize right. someone that's putting themselves out there and speaking how they feel and shit. You got the balls for that? <laughs> I do. I've had the balls for this for like ten fucking years. All right, Moose. All right, Moose. We get it. Um, <laughs> anyway, speaking of plastic and rape, uh, maybe this is a solution, but I, they, they may be not going to let it happen. I don't know. Um, and Gooberzilla would be especially interested in this, although he doesn't appear to be here. Um, police shut down sex robot brothel two weeks after it opened. So you got plastic women and men doing things with them. <laughs> They're not robots. I don't know why they call them robots, but uh, they, they, they call them robots. Anyway, the sex robot brothel in Italy has been shut down by police less than two weeks after it opened. Lumidol's latest bordello in Turin was closed after alleged infringements of Italian property law, which I, I don't really get, but uh, whatever. The closure comes after the firm's second brothel in Barcelona was forced to move to a new location after the building's landlord canceled the lease. Lumidol's also has a brothel in Moscow, and the firm has plans to open up six dens across the world. It is believed uh, the Italian cops raided the Turin brothel, and get this here because this is the disturbing part. <laughs> 
No, not this part. The next one. Um, uh, uh, they believe they closed the uh, Italian cops raided it after checks showed it was not legally allowed to run hospitality on the premises. And here's the here's the disturbing part. Hygiene authorities are now carrying out an investigation to see if the firm's doll cleaning met all standards. Okay, you're looking there through the want ads, and you come across an ad that says, your job is going to go to see if these sex dolls are clean, have been cleaned properly. <laughs> Do you go down and apply for that job? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not the job you're looking for. <laughs> Just saying. So anyway, it sounds like the uh, the uh, they're, they're having a, a few troubles there. Not because there's anything wrong with the business or or the people that go there, but because of the fact that people just don't like these sex dolls, they call them robot, sex doll brothels, um, for whatever reason. Anyway, I guess you pay, uh, it says here, according to them, 87 bucks a half hour, 108 bucks an hour to rent a room with sex robots. Uh, and it says, <laughs> now, now, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me see here, where, where did I find that at? Um, Okay, where did it go? Okay, Pro they, they say they're properly disinfected, especially special antibacterial soaps. And that might be a worse job than, than the, the inspector is the person that actually has to go through and do the cleanings. Um. <laughs> uh, anyway, I forget, I can't find, find exactly where it was here. Um. Oh, here, here it is. Here it is. The agency's website tells guests they will hardly distinguish between the dolls and real women. Now, I have a problem with this. Bullshit! If, if, you, if you are the kind of guy that just treats your woman as a object, I mean, like you don't converse with her, you don't you know, uh, interact, have to have feelings going back and forth there, then maybe, may, maybe that's true. But then again, you're not really a person at that point, are you? There's something wrong with you. So if that's the kind of person, I, I don't know. It, to me, it's it's a little. It's uh, that 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 comment there, that phrase, is is a is just just a little disturbing. Yeah, sex bots are just to fuck. Get your jollies off. I understand. But for them to say that you can hardly distinguish between the doll and a woman, that's that's a problem <laughs> to me. Which, uh, you know, if uh, that's your thing, that's your thing, and that's fine. But y you know what it is and you know what it's for. It's not uh, <laughs> it's not a woman, and you, and you shouldn't think of it as one. Uh, or more realistically, I guess you shouldn't think of a woman as this uh, void kind of a thing. So, there's that. Ah, anyway, let's do another jam set here. Um, <laughs> we got off on some weird tangents there on that that break. So uh, let, let's go. Let's play some more jams, and then we'll uh, come back and do something else. All right, this is a sock puppet request right here. Jesus. Oh, yeah, very nice, very nice there. A little, uh, br it's a brand new one from Monroe's Retro, by the way. Um, <laughs> yeah, brand new one from them, but a, b a very old one from Cream there. White Room, uh, Cowboy Tech found that earlier there today. And uh, I, I put the request in. But the uh, song uh, before that, uh, Bachman Turner Overdrive, Cowboy Tech himself requested, you ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, Bachman Turner Overdrive, BTO. And we kicked it off with a sock puppet request there. The band up on Cripple Creek. Yep, 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 yep. Nice stuff, nice stuff. Yes, indeed. <laughs> um, 
black hood with red, red curtains. See, I can't talk anymore now. <laughs> so you take on, you carry on, Griff. I, 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 I carry on, well, uh, well. <laughs> I, I noticed y'all were talking about doing uh, some hallucinogen <laughs> hallucinogenic um, substances hey, there. I like talking about that. I I I, I, really do. I like I mean, about I like I, I, I like those <laughs> things myself. Um, <laughs> so, I like talking about that subject. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm not a liar, so I will not lie. I have done a loose of You know what I mean? It's awesome. Yeah, no, they're great. And stuff. I explained earlier what happened. Like, you know, it was a true story when I saw it. No, I wasn't making that up. I I'm sure. <laughs> I wasn't. I was not making. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, it's been <laughs> real. <laughs> that was my valley girl impression. Did that do good? Oh, perfect. Was it perfect, <laughs> really? A valley girl impression? Well, close enough. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Things that make uh, you go. Huh. Mm. Huh. And yeah. ho, and ha, and he, and ooh. And all those things. Yeah, you know, it's awesome. Sounds are great. Sounds are amazing. <laughs> Especially yeah. when they're in the form of a music song. I mean, it's great. It's, it's awesome. Right. It's, it's amazing. Like, that's why I dance. I'm a dancer. Like, I'm not, like, a professional. <laughs> But I call myself a dancer. You know, you don't have to be a professional to be a dancer. You just have to be able to move your body to music. That's basically the qualifications right there. Right. Move your body to music. Who can't do that? Everyone can do that, by the way. So if you sit there and say, oh, I'm not a dancer like you, Grim. No. Crap. Even if you're sitting in a chair, you can move your body to music. You know? Right, sure. <laughs> because you don't have to be a dancer to move your body to music. That's all I'm saying. All right. Go, uh, tech, tech. Everybody wants to go out there and fucking jam their ass off. Well, well I do. <laughs> you know? Jam you your ass, ass off. Ass off. Yeah. I'm not even dancing my ass off. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. This one bluegrass band at Jack Tank. Jack Pine played an Almond Brothers song, and I was dancing. I spun so many times, dude. I don't think I've ever spun that many times in my life. Like, in a row. Like, spin, you know, turn around repeatedly. Yeah. Um, I did that many, many, many times in that song. And I was happy. I was I was loving life at that point. And those are the moments you have to, like, remember, you know? You okay. feel awesome. That's the moment you have to remember. Where you should, you know. People get wrapped up in all bullshit and everything. It's like, no. Remember shit that's good. Don't focus on the negative all the time. You know. Be happy when you can be. You know. And feel free when you can feel that way. Absolutely. I mean, this is the greatest advice that I have for people. Okay. And I'm not, I'm not 80, but I'm not 18 either, so. No, you're definitely I'm, somewhere in the middle there. I'm in the middle there. <laughs> middle <laughs> age. But anyway, um, this is how I get through it, you know, because it's all fucking so chaotic and so fucked up. You it's know, freaker's up ball, you have to be happy. Like houses blow up and shit, you know? Yeah. And fucking hurricanes fucking up. Billions of fucking inches of rain on people. Right, right. You know, you gotta fucking, for me anyway, you know, I try to put things in perspective. You know, and say, hey, it could be worse. You know? <laughs> I mean, this is how I get through well, life. Well, I think you know, Dopey I has arrived, Cowboy Jack. Right? Life goes until the loose girl. Things should uh, always be better, Goose, but things should always be worse, too. Right, you well, have to just be accepting and open-minded and be like, I can, I got this. I can handle this. Whatever comes my way, I can deal, dude. I'm good. I'm smart enough 
to know how to deal sh do shit. You know what? If worst comes to worst, I have the, abil the ability to deal with it. You know what I mean? Sure. I have common sense. I'm not a dumb. I'm not fucking stupid. You know. I know things. I know you how to know. make a fire. Absolutely. I know how to put a fire out. I know how to cook food. You know, I'm good. You're it's good. It's gonna come down to life fucking skills. Everybody's getting so wrapped up in all this bullshit all the time. Politics. Why are you wasting your time on that? I... You should fucking be concentrating on how you're gonna fucking make it. You know? Right. Don't waste your time worrying about this fucking crap that you have no control over. They make you think you have control over it, but you do not. So you're better off spending your time doing for you. Making sure you have the shit you fucking need. You know? Right. Because they're not going to provide it for you. They'll sit there and say they will, but they're not going to. You have to rely on your fucking self, baby. <laughs> yeah. That's all you got. That's you know, it. Any of us. That's all any of us have. That's the only thing each of us have control over is yourself and your own actions. You can't control the actions of other people. No matter how hard you fucking try. You can try to control people left and fucking right. But mm -hmm. you're never going to completely do that, ever. Because people do what they fucking do. Right? That's right. I mean, am I wrong? No, did I say you were wrong? No, you didn't. I'm just saying, you know, people right. do what they're going to do. No restraining order, no piece of paper is going to keep somebody from murdering somebody. All right? You can take out a, re a restraining order on somebody, but that doesn't stop them from coming to your wherever you are and being in physical contact with you and killing you. So the restraining order is a piece of fucking paper. That's right. You know? That's just, that's not gonna, so you better be fucking prepared for, you know, whatever harm might come your way. You better know how the fuck to deal with it. <laughs> You're gonna be fucking dead. Yeah, you just might. Anyway, I'm gonna dump a couple of links here into the chat on uh, some, some, uh, Tech stories. I'm not going to have time to get to, but uh, this first one. I know one... Goober will agree with me on this fact. I know that he will agree on those things I just said. I know that Goober, at least for one in the chat, is going to agree with me on those things that I just said. Besides right. you. Okay. A anyway, so the first, the first of the tech stories I'm dumping in there is uh, six hundred dollar Chromebooks are a dangerous development for Microsoft. And my first thought on, on reading that title, and before I actually went through the article, and even after I went through the article, actually, was, well, that's great. I mean, it's great because screw Microsoft, but is Google any better? <laughs> and, then, and then the second one, the blockchain browser Brave files ad tech complaints against Google for user data practices, uh, showing you right there up front that, no, Google's no better than Microsoft, uh, and, and they talk about the, uh, the the Chromebooks there in that article, um, as if uh, it's a, as if as if it's a Linux system, and at its core, sure, but not really. Anyway, we got to do our last set here, so um, I hope you're all ready for the S. Oh, boy. I don't know how that got mixed up. How, oh, oh, I see what happened there. That's why. I knew I was close. All right. <laughs> uh, anyway, here it is, the last set. Uh, this is Hansel Request? Yeah, Hansel Request. <laughs> Black Betty, indeed. Stoner Train there closing it out for us with Black Betty. Before that, Ronald Reggae and Jamaican Rhapsody. Uh, before that, we had a brand new one there from the Dead South. Brand new, um, not brand new. Uh, it was a new, it was a new video release. 
by them, but not a brand new song. The, the, the track is called Miss Mary from an album of last year, uh, our concert last year in Berlin, uh, but it was just released on the 10th, that video. And we kicked it off there with a Hansel request, guess who? American Woman. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Yep, so that's going to wrap us it. up. What? I said, you know it. You know it. Anyway, that's going to wrap us up here tonight. Uh, tomorrow, you got the dark table at noon Eastern with Flasher and, uh, and, and Vin E. Uh, I'll be on at noon Eastern on Sunday with the Blues and the trivia yeah. and the chat. Hal always Anthony. fun. Yeah, always fun, always fun. Good times. And uh, Hal, Hal will be on at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon o'clock Pacific with the Behind the Woodshed program there to enlighten your minds on various topics that Hal covers. And then Tuesday, we'll have, probably have another dark table there. Uh, at some point during the day, I haven't quite nailed down the time yet. I don't think Flash or Vinny has really nailed okay. down the time yet. Anyway, um, so uh, we'll get to that on Tuesday at some point, so keep keep your eye out. And Wednesday nice. Wednesday and Friday is Grammy as her normal time. We'll be back again next Friday with another Freaker's Ball. We will. If, 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 you know, if everything goes all right, we'll yeah. be here. We'll be here. So, anyway. We're knocking on wood right now. Anyway, everybody have a great weekend, and uh, yep. we'll talk to you later. Have a kick-ass weekend, everyone. Indeed. Peace. Peace.